Now, we're talking about pavement parking uh, this morning. We had Alex on from Mablethorpe earlier. He's uh, still ranting down the phone. He's uh, very angry uh, about the situation. There's uh, not much local councils can do to stop it at the moment, but that could soon change. As we've been hearing, the government is looking at making it easier to ban pavement parking across England. It's been banned in London since the 70s. This is what some people in Lincoln told us about the idea. I think the council's got to look at each case on its individual merits There's a good reason why people park on pavements at times and that can cause problems to people with disabilities. But having a complete blanket ban is the wrong thing to do. I'm not happy, but they they need to increase more uh, parking, uh, you know, their parking space. If everybody was to park on the road, you won't get cars going down the road. I never go too much on the path. I always do do it so I can... I know there's plenty of room, but uh, I'm always aware of the pedestrians all the time. When I get my kids and there's a car parked in front of me, I have to ask my kids to knock on that door because I can't get past. It's terrible because I can't hardly walk either. So without my kids being with me, I'm stuck. So many different ideas, isn't there? Some saying we need to uh, keep the roads, uh, sorry, the paths clear. Others saying we need to keep the roads clear to get uh, emergency vehicles down or just our own cars. Uh, What's the view of the Institute of Advanced Motorists here in Lincolnshire then? Richard uh, Hardesty is uh, the man who knows. Richard, what's your view on this whole issue? Well, the the formal view of of I am road smart uh, across the country is that a blanket ban on pavement parking could lead to a need for thousands of new parking spaces across towns and cities elsewhere that that councils really are going to struggle to provide. I mean, that is a real issue, isn't it? Because, uh, as I mentioned, with the, I was talking to the AA earlier, more and more houses are being built, more and more of us are more than two, three-car families. Those cars have got to go somewhere, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. And, and where data has been collected, the problems appear to be localised. And as a, as, a, as a road safety group, we have no problem with local solutions. And there's some great examples across Lincolnshire. So in the west end of Lincoln, uh, there are, there are uh, white lines that prescribe that cars park, park on the road and park on the footway. And that's where there's plenty of space on the footway to accommodate almost the wheel of a car and then pedestrians and uh, uh, other other uh, users as well. Uh, over in Louth, um, St Bernard's Avenue, uh, the locals have an agreement with the local council. The footways are really quite wide, which accommodates the full width of a car and the pedestrians. So that's that's a great opportunity. The biggest problem with this is the the sort of um, mixed messages the highways codes uh, sort of providers. So Alex from Mablethorpe was quite right. We, we aren't allowed and we must not drive over a pavement footway or bridle, bridle way um, except to gain lawful access and that's the rule 145. Um, the highway code also states under rule 244 that in Lincolnshire we should not park partially or wholly on the footway. So it's, it's a little bit vague there. So really, really difficult and a little bit vague on the highway code. Almost needs a rethink, doesn't it? It's like the path should be shrunk a little bit, the road's extended a bit, but that's that's going to cost a lot of money, isn't it, to get it right? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a very fine balance. The real key advice from ourselves is, um, you know, it's really difficult in some locations localised not to park on the footway um, to enable um, uh, other other road users to get through. We've mentioned fire service, etc. Um, the really important thing is to not obstruct the uh, the footway. Uh, the Highway Code Rule 242 says you must not uh, park in a dangerous position or where it causes unnecessary obstruction uh, have, for the road. Have you come across any, obviously being advanced driving, I've been out on, on, on one of the courses um, as well. Uh, fantastic courses they are too. It really t- teaches you to look at the road in a completely different way. But do you, have you come across problems on some roads in Lincolnshire? Yeah, uh, I mean, to be fair, the the parking on either side of the road, it it narrows the road down. um, And if you've got two-way traffic, you've got to pick an appropriate spot to sort of drop back and let other road users uh, go through. Uh, Our advice is where you've got lots of really tight parking on the side of the road, either side of the road, um, if you're driving through the middle of cars park both sides, we look to equalise the risk between the two. So if it's safe to do so, travel through the middle of the road, because what you've got to be really mindful of, um, driving nice and slowly at any time, one of those car doors could swing open, a ball could come through between cars, a child could come through between cars. So really be careful of your speed, think about your position of your vehicle and be prepared for something unexpected to happen. All right. 
Words of advice there. Thank you, Richard Hardesty from the Institute of Advanced Motorists here in Lincolnshire. Thank you for joining us here on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Sean Dunderdale at the-